I was born with a strange gift. The ability to see what no human being has ever seen before. It's all mixed up in my head. The images, the sounds, the smell. I need to remember. Put things in order right up to this moment. Remember who I am. If I had to say how it all began, I might just as well start here. I found you by the side of the road, in the middle of nowhere. Was there an accident? Did, did someone try to hurt you? How about a name? Someone I could contact? You must have family, friends, someone who could tell me who you are. Hey. You don't talk much, do you? Well, if you don't help me, I can't help you. Is that a scar? Is that recent? We've got to stop them. They have no idea what they're up against. Tell them to wait until I get there. Just get back to them immediately, you hear me? You've got to stop them. Some goddamn fools.
How you doing today, Jody? Good? <laughs> I hate to bother you when you're playing and all, but uh, I believe it's time, honey. Girl, you'll have plenty of time to play later. All right, Nathan's waiting for us. Mm -hmm. Come on, Jody. Hi, Cole. Seriously? Hey, Alan. This nearly ready. Was due two weeks ago. Hello, this precious. Don't you look pretty today? Better late than never, I guess. Here we are. It's gonna rain this weekend. We got a lot of rain this year. I suppose that's true. It hasn't been particularly cold before. No, it hasn't. Hey, Jody. How's your day been so far? Pretty good. Okay, we're gonna put this on now. Remember, it's just like a crown. Oh yeah, oh, now you're a little princess. <laughs> Don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. I'm right next door if you need me, okay? Hey, Jody, can you hear me? Okay, let's start. Kathleen is next door, and she has the same cards as you. And we're gonna get her to choose one and see if you can tell us which one she chose. You think you can do that? Good. All right, let's go for it. First card.
Next car. Next car. Very good, Jody. Let's try something else. There's some building blocks on the table in the other room. You think you can make them fall over? Subject's heartbeat slows to 45 beats per minute. There's an increase in... It's over. It's over. It will never be over. I feel like everyone's looking at us. That's not just a feeling. Everyone is looking at us. What do I do if something goes wrong? There won't be anything you can do. That's what I suspected. Just checking. But most important thing, act natural. If anyone speaks to you, you just smile. So do you want me to act natural, or do you want me to smile? I didn't know you had a sense of humor. Only when I'm scared to that. Ryan, I'm delighted you could attend. Always a pleasure, Sheik Ahmed. I uh, would like you to meet my assistant, Elizabeth. I was unaware that American diplomacy was undertaken with such disarming charm. The pleasure is mine, Elizabeth. Gentlemen, I give you back your host. We'll talk later on it. Until then, Ryan. He hates me. The whole time he was imagining my head on a stick. I think he found you charming. I should be flattered. Yeah, I'm gonna shake some hands. 
blend in, find some more quiet. You know what you have to do. Ah, Ambassador, you're a sight for sore eyes. I need to find a quiet place. Hayden, Hayden, are you ready? There's a large painting in one of the rooms upstairs. Behind it is a safe. The documents we're looking for are inside. But there are guards and cameras, so you have to be careful, you got it? Hurry, I did. It hurts like hell when you're too far away. Careful, Aiden. You know you can't touch other people when you're controlling someone. An office with a portrait of the Sheik. This is the place. Habib, what the The cameras. I told you to take care of them first. Man! Ana? Ana? لك تقدر تكون بمجهود صغير أود ذلك حقا لكنني لا أريدك سادة أعمالي سأشتري منك ثلاثين طنا بسعر First. Yeah, heavy. Okay. Nobody will be able to monitor the main office now. We should be safe. It's gotta be 
a switch somewhere. To move the painting. Find it, Aiden. documents. Make it quick. I can't hold on much longer. Okay, now don't move. Listen, I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't go. Jody, you've been begging me for weeks. You're not gonna back up now. I don't know anybody there. They might all hate me and... The stress is awful. Let's just go. Just take a deep breath. There's no reason to panic. It's just a birthday party. I'm sure everybody will like you. You'll have fun, maybe meet some new friends. Go on. Oh, don't forget your present. It's a book of poetry by Poe. It's 50 years old and very rare. I'm sure she'll like it. Don't worry. It's gonna be all right. I'll pick you up at five. Have fun. Jody, come in. Hi. Hey, Kirsten, you come in? I gotta go. Come in, Jody. Don't be shy. Hey, Jody, right? Come on, we're in the living room. Some girls from my school and least dorky guys we could find. Oh, is that a present for me? Cool. Thanks. 
I'm off, darling. Look after your friends and don't do anything stupid, all right? Sure, Mom, whatever you say. Oh, finally, she gets the hint. Hey, everyone. This is Jody. She's in Unit 4 with my mom. Unit 4? The paranormal department? Ooh, what you do there? Bend spoons or speak to dead people? No. Stuff like that? No. Woo! Yeah, party time! I'll get the beer. Guys, do the shutters. Girls, do the candles. And Jody, you can take care of the music. Let's get crazy! What kind of garbage is that? Slide over. We'll put on something from this century. Something really popping. Kirsten, you're a genius. Joe, do you want one? No, thanks. I, I, I don't drink, so... You don't know what you're missing, girl. After three or four beers, you'll see the world in a whole new light. Want some? Uh, no, thanks.
Hi. Hi, I'm Matt. Jody, right? I've never seen you at school before. You don't take classes on bass? I'm in a different program with, with my own teacher. Right. Because I sure to remember if I'd seen you around before. <laughs> so you work with Kirsten's mother? Yeah. We work in the in the same lab. She thought it would be a good idea for me to come and spend time with people my age, so uh, here I am. <laughs> I used to live in uh, in London before I moved here two years ago. And you? Where did you live before? On, on the base. I, I, I've always lived there. I was born there. Do you have any hobbies? Anything you do for, like, fun? I surf any chance I get, and I play in a band with a bunch of friends. <laughs> and you, what, what are you into? Nothing special. I read a lot. It's boring. <laughs> I guess. Can I can I ask you something? Why are you in Unit 4? I'd rather not talk about it. I'm so stupid. I, I hope I haven't like upset you or anything. No, that's okay. Slow dance. Are you, you up for it? Sure. You know, I'm sure you hear this all the time, but you're really pretty, you know. You're not so bad looking yourself. You're not like other girls. I mean, there's, there's something special about you. I think you're pretty special, too. Why doesn't Jody give us a demonstration of her super mega powers? <laughs> no, no, idea. no, no, I, I'd pay to see that. Ugh, forget it, it's just a little bull. Yeah, come on, Jody, show us what you can do. Okay, Jody, you up for demonstration? No, no, I, I, I don't, I don't have anything to show. I told you so, guys. It's all bullshit. Right, okay guys, it's time to eat that delicious cake and most important to open my birthday gifts. Actually, the cake can wait. I'm opening my gifts first. Love Jen XXX. Oh, that's nice, babe. I bet it's knee socks. A thong! Just exactly what I needed. Now you can stop stealing your mom's <laughs> and improve your chances of finding a decent boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> My future lover wants to thank you for making his life more interesting. What is that? An old book. It smells funky. It's a really rare 
collection, uh, poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Hey, Curlin, who? What, did you steal this from your grandpa's library? No, no, and it's really rare. Yeah, just like your dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, is this a joke? I can't believe you came all the way to my birthday party just to give me this old crap. And she thinks she's so clever, but she's just a little lab rat. A freaky little lab rat. Yeah, she's been following me around like a puppy all evening, begging for it. Oh, and she's a slut too. I never wanted to invite her, my mom made me. Yeah, she's a slut, a slut and a witch. We should like, do something to her. What do you do with witches? You burn them. Ah! Get her! <laughs> Please! Stop! Stop! Oh, mistress Let of the obscure go! darkness! Let me go! Bring forth your mighty power! <laughs> <laughs> Please! Please! Let me Once out! The first moment I saw I'm her. begging you! Please! <laughs> let me out! Please! Did someone say K? Please! Oh, I want to get out! Please! Hurry. I want to get out! I'm begging yeah, you! Please let me out! out. Get me out of here, please. I'm getting out of here. Don't leave me alone. Okay, wait for me. <laughs> the door, it won't open. It's impossible. Try harder. I'm telling you, it's locked. Keep calm. There's, there's no reason to panic. The windows. Try the windows. Come on, let's go! I'm not staying here. I said that's enough! Come back, we're leaving! Too far! 
Harrison! Are you all right? My God, what happened? It's her! It's all her fault! She burned down everything! She's the devil! She's the devil! Let's go home. Your phone we're in trouble, so cut it out. He's replacing Dr. Matthews. He's the one who's gonna be taking care of him from now on. He seems really nice. Go on, he wants to meet you. Jody, he's waiting for you. Hello, Jody. Come in. My name is Nathan. Nathan Dawkins. I thought it would be a good idea for us to have a little chat, get to know each other a little better. That is, if it's okay with you, of course. Jody, my job is to study strange events and then try to explain them. Like the things that happen around you, right, Jody? Your mother tells me you have an invisible friend. This friend, has he been with you a long time? Since you were born? Is he a ghost? Or a spirit of someone who passed away? Can you draw him from me? Mind if I take a look? So, this thing is your friend, and he's connected to you with some kind of cord. Is he here right now? Can you tell him to do something? You tell him what to do, and it happens. 
I don't tell Aiden what to do. No one does. He's like a lion in a cage. We're tied together. He can't go away. That makes him really angry. It's not my fault. I want him to leave too. It can be really scary sometimes. Did, did he do that to you? No. That was the monsters. Your room this is where you'll study and sleep for the next three years. Your training starts tomorrow at 5 a.m. Don't be late. Come on, Holmes, keep up. Start again. Take cover. Aim, shoot. Advance to the next cup. Got it?
Excellent, Jody. Okay, recruit. Now get rid of those oil drums. Not bad.
Not bad, Jody. If this wasn't an exercise, you'd be dead by now. If this wasn't an exercise, you wouldn't even be able to open your big mouth, Ryan. Congratulations, Operative Holmes. You made it. Welcome to the agency. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Jody. Welcome to the agency. Phoenix, like you Great made job, it, Jody. Congratulations. Really 